The Fabulous Flashbacks, one of the hottest bands around Youngstown in the 80s and 90s. A week from tonight, the Flashbacks will hold a reunion concert. It will be in Central Square downtown, part of the Summer Festival of the Arts, for just $10. And they're playing your favorite oldies. First News anchor Stan Boney flashes back with the Fabulous Flashbacks. It's a Tuesday evening in Austin Town, and in the corner of an office at Fab Limousines, the fabulous flashbacks are rehearsing. I think musically, we're just as tight as we probably ever were. Vocally, well, we'll see. It wasn't until lead singer Brian McCall returned from seven years in Florida that the flashbacks decided to reunite. But for McCall, it was not a yes from the beginning. No, absolutely not. It took, took more than a year of pre-planning. I thought we sounded amazingly good. Keyboard player Brian Wingrove is an original flashback along with drummer Nick Gligger. They were around in 1983 when the fabulous flashbacks and the oldies craze happened at the same time. They made enough money that the flashbacks were full-time jobs. The run lasted 13 years, ending in 1996. We wanted to play the music that we loved, that we grew up with, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, uh, you know, the Doors and things like that. So it was, let's try this, see if it works. And fortunately for us in here, it did. <laughs> Greg Yachman was the band's third bass player. He was around in the 90s. The Flashbacks have played a few gigs since breaking up, but nothing in the last nine years. The jitters are already now. The excitement has been building and building and building, and you try to keep it minimized so you don't burn out before the show. Stan Boney, WKBN, 27 First News.